Indie Mogul. This week on Indie News, an exciting new YouTube series, how to create an exploding puppet, Sony's new competitor to the GoPro, and I learn more about the Blackmagic Cinema Camera and how to work with raw, high-res video files. Hey Indie Mogulers, Griffin here on my favorite American holiday, Labor Day. It's great, you don't have to get presents for anyone, and many of you get the day off so you can spend the whole day watching YouTube videos. So let me get you started with a good one. Episode 1 of Drone, a sci-fi action series on the Yam Yam F network about a humanoid combat drone on the run. I had the opportunity while in LA to meet the director of Drone and the guys behind the costume. So next week I'll share that behind the scenes episode. BAMO last week released their second episode of 5 Minute Fix, where a curiously anonymous VFX artist takes viewer videos and adds quick visual effects. This week, he explodes a puppet, and you just might learn something. Canon just announced two new cameras you probably can't afford, and Sony announced one that you might actually want. It's an action cam that's smaller and cheaper than the GoPro Hero 2. It can shoot 720 video at 120 frames per second, and they have a Wi-Fi model that'll let you use your smartphone as a viewfinder. Once GoPro releases their new smartphone app, their camera can do the same thing, but it'll cost more than Sony's camera, which will ship at the end of the month. Another camera that lots of filmmakers are talking about, the Blackmagic Design Cinema Camera, has begun shipping this week. Like many of you, I don't really want to spend $3,000 on a new video camera, but I wanted to learn more about why it has filmmakers so excited. Firstly, it shoots in 2.4K, that's 2400 pixels wide, so it's almost four times as many pixels as 720 HD video. And it's 60% bigger than 1080. So that means you can either deliver a higher resolution video, or you can edit in 1080, giving you some extra leeway to crop the image. Even more expensive 4K cameras, like the new Canon C500, shoot at an even higher resolution. At $3,000, the Blackmagic Design Cinema Camera is relatively inexpensive for being able to shoot 2.4K resolution. And apparently it's even more exciting because it can shoot in a RAW format. But having never dealt with RAW images before, I didn't really understand the benefits. Photographers, though, often work with raw images, so I visited my photographer friend Matt to learn more. Raw is just that. It is everything the sensor captured. In the photo world, when you say make a JPEG, it throws away a lot of data. I mean, you're talking a 6 meg file for JPEG and a 20, 25 meg file. So raw. it's throwing away like yeah, tons. 75% of the data. Because raw photos hold more color data, Matt showed me how easily white balance can be shifted in editing regardless what the camera was set to. Whereas once an image is compressed, it's harder to make color changes without losing some of the original look. RAW files also hold more dynamic range, meaning it's easier to adjust the exposure in post and preserve details in the highlights and shadows. So if you want a lot of control when color grading your footage, RAW files are handy, but all that extra data comes at a price. The Blackmagic camera needs expensive solid-state hard drives to hold the data. A 240 gigabyte drive costs about $175 and holds 30 minutes of raw 2.4K video. Whereas my camera, a Panasonic GH2, could get 30 minutes of compressed 1080 video on a $7 4 gigabyte SD card. Besides needing 60 times more hard drive space to deal with raw video files, it's also a longer workflow process. The Blackmagic camera comes with DaVinci Resolve 9, a powerful color grading application, and I downloaded the free light version to play with some test footage. Every frame of video is stored as a separate image file, but the software recognizes them as a single video clip. Before editing, I can color correct these raw files, and they must be conformed to a format that Final Cut, for example, can handle. Right now, I don't have the money, the hard drive space, or the time to deal with raw video files, but I definitely think the Blackmagic camera is a cool tool, and I'm glad I learned more about what it can do. If you'd like to play around with the test footage, there are several links in the description, including the free DaVinci Resolve software, and several test shots from Australian cinematographer John Brawley. 
On today's playlist, I have the premiere of Drone, the new action sci-fi series, how to blow up a puppet on 5-Minute Fix, and Sony demonstrating their new action cam. And finally, I'm selling some of my used audio filmmaking gear on eBay, so you can check out this video as well if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again this Wednesday for a live Q&A with my friends Eric Beck and Russell Hasenauer. I'll see you then.